Hi everyone and welcome back to Windows of Succulent Garden. This is Alex and today is a really nice sunny day so I just thought I'd bring you out in the garden and give you a bit of an update on the um, Sempervirums and um, the other things that are in the greenhouse. So, just give you a quick look at the cat enjoying some of the sun rolling around and uh, I'll show you the Sempervirums and stuff now. So this is my table of kind of um, hardier things. And then obviously there's a crassula that I've just stuck there because the weather's been quite mild um, just these last few days. So down here we've got a um, Sempervirum that I still don't know the name of, but you can see it's got really nice markings on it. And then we've got a, uh, a crested form. Again, I'm not too sure on the specific name of this cultivar. And the same with this one as well. Don't know the name of it, but I really enjoy the uh, the colours and the shape of it. And then the last one in the pot is a uh, another crested one. So there you go. And then this is just a little cutting that I took from the jade a while back, and it's rooted and grown really well. And because the weather's been quite mild, I thought I would try it outside. Because um, they do take more water than most succulents um, so I'm not too worried about this one getting rained on a lot and obviously it's in a very small pot and the soil is very well draining so it should be fine as long as the temperatures don't drop too much and then this is my arachnoid sempervivum a little tray of it these used to be much bigger but um, because I had them in uh, quite a bad soil I think it um, did them a bit of damage over winter and as you can see I've potted them into like pretty much a pure inorganic mix. And then these are my red sempervirums that I again don't know the name of. As you can see I'm not very good with the uh, the names of these, these lot. But there's another crested one here, if you can see that. Right there. So it must be quite strong in this in the genetics of this plant. And then there's these guys here, the little green ones. I think they, this is a type of tectorum. But yeah, I really like the way these go in summer. They develop much more of a strong green colour and the black becomes even blacker. So uh, I'll probably show you those closer to the time. And then last up is my rather sorry looking uh, agave americana variegate and as you can see snails and slugs have just been making a right mess of this so I've had to move it up here. Uh, on top of this table, so hopefully they won't won't get it and and see some of the spring bulbs starting to show flowers here. And I'll just show you into the um, in the greenhouse. So it's not really the best time of the day for this because the sun's kind of shining directly on, uh, so I can't be in front of it. But just give you a quick look. They all look very healthy, so they're clearly enjoying it out here. And um, as the temperatures have not been dropping below uh, around 8 celsius. I've actually been keeping this open at night to around this kind of height so that air can kind of blow in here so on a hot day if I can't make it out here uh, it means that things aren't cooking which uh, wouldn't be very good. And then this is my aloe black gem as you can see it's taken on quite a cool colour now it's really darkened up and uh, it's growing quite well as well I've not watered this thing in weeks, but uh, it seems to be enjoying it because the leaves have really poked up. Um, so yeah. And then the last thing we've got in the greenhouse, I just uh, my lettuce leaves and my tomatoes. So I'll probably bring more things out here eventually. And obviously I've got the uh, some of the succulents outside the front of the house as well, but this is the back. So uh, yeah, just a bit of an update for you today. And I thought. Some of you might enjoy hearing the birds talking and, and the sun, so uh, there you go. I'll give you another quick look at the cat, because I know you all enjoy it. He's sunbathing on his little recliner chair. So, I really hope you've enjoyed that video, I know it's a bit of a more relaxed style. Uh, but 
If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thank you very much for watching. So I actually just remembered that I've got a few other semps kind of dotted around the garden in various places. And um, I thought I'd show you those as well in this video. Um, I won't talk through them because they're pretty obvious what they are. I've only really got two main varieties that I've got lots of, and that's a green one and a red one that I don't know the names of, so I'll, uh, I'll go and show you those now. And then obviously this is my bowl of sedums that I've got outside. There's really only two main varieties in there. There's this one that you can see here, and then there's this one as well that's slightly different. There you go. And then I'll show you the last some survivor that I've got in a bit of a weird place. So here it is growing in uh, an old tree stub or an old branch that was cut off here and it's receded and there's a big hole in there so it's uh, it's been out here for over a year now so it seems quite happy it's not really grown very much but we'll see how it gets on obviously it had winter in that time so I don't think it's had a growing season yet but yeah so there's that one and then I think that'll do, so ho hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of, uh, the ending of this video and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, thanks.